All right, so we're approaching halfway. Sorotalpa. Ankylosaurus. Pull. What? Fused lizard. Almost thought that said pulsed lizard. I'm like, it's not electrically charged. That'd be badass. That'd be like Borderlands. Anyway. Uh, this guy is by a lake bed, I believe. It's just a matter of time before I figure out where that lake bed, or it's right around the edge of a lake. He, he comes out from behind a, a bush. Like it's, it's very hard to locate. I mean, I don't, I don't memorize the, there we go, I found it. I don't memorize the little continent positionings for each arrow. And I got hit with his tail. I'm not sure how much energy I lost, but. 192. Pretty big payday. I think 228 is the most that you can get. Correct me if I'm wrong. 228 energy crystals might be maximum. Sorrow Pelta. Alright, Sorrow Pelta. Lizard shield. That's the one without the little coconut balls on the end of the tail. <laughs> Which actually is part of his skeleton, I believe. They're not they're not physical coconut balls, they're like a part of his skeleton and are very hard bone. I think it's the same material as like horn, like calcium. I don't know. All right, so I found that that Ankylosaurus cousin like so many times, and oh, there he is, finally. So wait for him to get to the middle of the screen. Start recording. Wait for him to do some action. He's got such a derp face. Derp derp. And I got nothing. Because I didn't I recorded too soon. Yeah, kinda dumbfounded why I got zero. It looked like a Sarah Pelta to me. To my untrained eyes. Let's go back. Let's go back in time and do it again. And again, I cannot figure out where that was. Oh, randomly I found it. So it's kind of like in the water slash on land. So after he makes the dirt face, start recording. And it'll pop a squat. Or do a bench press. Well, no, not bench press, but basically a deadlift. <laughs> Great. 192. As if I needed any more energy, well, now I'm getting it. I love that sound. Yeah, I love it. The Ankylosauria class is complete. Please accept these data crystals. Toss them over, buddy. Alright. Nothosaurus. Nothosaurus. Yeah. I guess you wouldn't know that that was a aquatic animal. You might think it might be a like a long neck land dinosaur, but it's not. It's an aquatic one. Um, the picture's kind of screwed up, in my opinion, because if you look at what they gave as a Nothosaurus, um, it doesn't look like it. See? See how it's all separated limbs, rather than like a... I don't know. 
the Notosauria class. Rather than the complete. shaggy look. Please accept these data crystals. Give him dummy. Alright, we're up to ten. Nice even number. I like it. Stadiosaurus. Whale lizard. Why do they call it a whale lizard? Diplodocus. Double B. Camarasaurus. Brachiosaurus. Arm lizard. Saltasaurus. What the heck is a salta lizard? Brachiosaurus. Alright, this one's easy. He's in the... Like, the redwood tree area of the forest. Uh, that's Camo Tor Saurus or something. <laughs> Cam Camel Toe Saurus. <laughs> no. It starts with a C, though. I know that much. There we go. There's our Brachiosaurus. I'm gonna wait until he's in the perfect middle. Perfect shot. Nope, wasn't good enough. Couldn't see the Brachiosaurus. Alright, cool. 192. 2000 energy? Saltasaurus. Salsa time. Amigos. That could be any long neck thing. Serious. Uh, I think it's uh, right there. <laughs> yeah, I, I got lucky that they came out on the first uh, attempt. And I wasn't even sure if that was them. But that's Saltosaurus for you. You don't even have to move anywhere. What are we looking for now? Alright, that's the C1 that we just saw that I wasn't sure what to call it. Besides camel toe. Camarasaurus. Camarasaurus. Which actually is right there. Yeah, I see it. Look at them Windows graphics. And I believe you want the big guy and not the baby for the credit. They don't care about babies, they want the big guy. Diplodocus. We're taking snapshots of the past. Back to the future. We want like the best example of the past as we can f discover, I guess. I don't know. I didn't program it, I just played it. I think you'd, it'd be worth even more points to get it with the baby dinosaurs. You know. That's just me. Actually, there was a couple pterodactyl looking things back there. Oh, the Plodocus. This one gave me a lot of problems in terms of capturing it. It is kind of in a field area. I'm not really recognizing it yet. As you'll notice, I'm popping all around the place. Nope, that's Allosaurus. That could be it. But no. Those are herbivores. Leaf eaters. Nope, wrong direction. That's one of the meat eaters. Got that guy already, got that guy already. I'm not finding the right plane that I should be on. Allosaurus, man. How many times do you guys see Allosaurus? Thank you, dog. You jumped on my mouse. It's all good. We're still rolling. Got that aquatic guy. I'm still looking for Diplodocus. There we go. It's kind of in... A, a woodland area. He's also got a family with him. And uh, I don't even... I got nothing for that. All that time spent and I got nothing for that. Wasn't good enough. Oh, maybe it wasn't Diplodocus. 
maybe it was another long neck dinosaur. No, that was Diplodocus. The game's just very finicky with giving you credit. What? 1993? That's pretty old. Wait, let me do some some math while we wait. Hey, look at we we're at the middle of the shot this time, and now I'll start recording it for credit. There you go, you picky game. All right, so 1983 was. Wow. Really? It was 18 years ago. That's crazy. All right, we're looking for another long neck dinosaur, and this one happens to be on the beach. And it's not Tyrannostrophus, the really long neck dude. It's uh, another beach. There, he's there. There he is. Got lucky that he came out the first try. Captured that photo perfectly. And it gave me credit for it too. And it completed the clad. Ha five. The sauropoda clad is complete. Please accept these data crystals. You mean sauropods? Back up to ten energy crystals. Woo! Technosaurus. Screw this one. Um, yeah, this guy was very hard to find. I might actually like fast forward because uh, I had trouble finding this guy. I don't know, maybe, maybe my commentary will keep you engaged while, uh, while I flip through the, uh, there's actually a really cool dinosaur right there at that water inland. He's one of the last dinosaurs that I collect because I didn't know that there even was a dinosaur there. But yeah, there'll be a dinosaur that comes out at that little river and takes a drink. <coughs> takes a drink of water. That's a cool little uh, crest dinosaur. A whole lot of nothing going on. Oh, the Ankylosaur again. We got snow-capped mountains. We got a volcano now for whatever reason. We're all over the place. I believe this is the the egg eater, Oviraptor, or omnivore. Uh, he doesn't want to come out. Maybe I'll use my dino call to get him out from his hiding place. Maybe. Oh no 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 no. Let's play let's play left right. Let's play that game because you know repeatedly tapping those keys those left right keystrokes will eventually produce Hey he came out. He's taking a shower. Now he's already stealing one of my young right in front of me. Let me get the, that dang shotgun out and get him, get him off my property. All right, so we got a bunch of trees, more trees, more trees. Sounds like dead flies. Got frogs going on over there. Got um, mosquito infested forests. There's kind of a cool dinosaur here, I guess. It's a duck bill dinosaur. Two of them. Look at that animation. That's high quality. 
I don't think that's an iguanodon though. Yeah, the Guanadon was like in the reddish area of the forest, I believe. I'm not sure if we got it already. We might have. I think there's a Velociraptor on that last one. And then that last one with the three-horned crescent dinosaur in the background was a Triceratops. That's the Ankylosaurus again. He's going by mighty fast. Uh, there's one there on the desert. But I think I got it. I think I'm just about ready to give up my search for Cygnosaurus, which I eventually find them, but not when I'm looking for this particular dinosaur. And I'm like, what? I didn't even know there's a dinosaur here. That's why I'm checking all these like areas that usually don't spawn dinosaurs. No, no, no. We're we're about wrapping it up. We're about to head back and pick another uh, specimen. And there we go. We're out of here. Overapta. Got it. The Overapta clad is complete. Please accept these data crystals. He was just trying to make an omelet. <clears throat> Can't be mad at the Overapta. Although the Velociraptor is by far the best. Alright, now, Gurridimimus. I think they called it the gazelle dinosaur in Jurassic Park the first. There was a, a scene where the giant T Rex was out in a field and it was eating, I think I heard of these, I might be mistaken. But I think this is the exact dinosaur that they use. as the T-Rex's prey. And of course it's one that I don't know... Yeah, this is I think the one I was looking for last time. No. That's actually a completely different dinosaur than I've even seen thus far, so... But this is where Garudimimus, or however you pronounce that, Garudimimus is. And believe it or not, that video was not good enough. So we'll be coming back. We got Cecelosaurus, which I probably would have never found. I got really lucky that he came out right there. And nothing for that beautiful pose that is pretty centered to me. To my eyes, and I got bad vision, that looks pretty centered. But it's not good enough, so we're going back. 